DIY project, it's gonna result in the piece that you can use all over your home for a bunch of different occasions. So here's what you need to get started. This is one by two pine board. I went out and I bought an eight foot length of one by two pine, and then I cut it down into four pieces. Most hardware stores will cut this for you, or you can use a miter saw or a skill saw at home. You're also going to need a piece of plywood. This is a two by two sheet of plywood. Again, you can buy a larger piece and cut it down on your own, or you can buy a section just like this from a hardware store. So a two by two piece of plywood. And then this board, I cut two 24 inch lengths to go along the outsides. And then two 22 inch lengths to frame out our chalkboard here. Um, so this is what our frame is gonna look like when we're done. So here are the other supplies that you're going to need. And be sure to check out the description of this video. And I've got all the supplies you need listed down there. So in addition to the wood, you're going to need some chalkboard paint. You're going to need some paint for the frame. And I chose a glossy white, uh, real durable paint that I'm gonna use for the frame. Um, some brushes to go along with that. Then you're going to need some wood glue and clamps. And then just for extra security, you're gonna add some, these are about three quarter inch wood screws. We're gonna have, um, we're gonna screw it, uh, the frame onto the plywood in addition to the glue just to give it some extra strength. And then so you'll need a, a drill bit and a drill as well as a Phillips screwdriver bit to attach that later on. So the first thing you wanna do after everything is cut, you kinda of wanna line it up and make sure that this is really how you want your frame to look. The frame of this chalkboard is gonna actually sit on top of the plywood. So mine fits pretty nicely here. So I wanna make sure that all my pieces are sanded nicely and that I have nice smooth edges along them. And then I wanna paint them. So these four pieces here, I'm gonna paint white and let dry. This, I'm gonna paint with chalkboard paint. Now, when you're using chalkboard paint, you want to shake it really, really well. Um, every brand's a little different, so read the instructions on the back. But for this one, we're gonna shake it really well and then add one coat, a very thin coat to the plywood, let it dry completely, and then come back and add another coat if needed. I usually use two coats when I'm using chalkboard paint. I'm gonna get those painted, let them all dry, and then we'll come back and assemble the chalkboard. Now that everything is painted and dry, we can start assembling our chalkboard. So I want to show you what I did on the piece of plywood here. I put my chalkboard paint on it, but I left a little bit of white, or a little bit of uh, raw wood on the outside. And I also left the sides nice and clean without chalkboard paint on them. So that, when I put this piece on, on the side, we can, uh, paint that side white to give it a nice finished look. So, to put these together, we are gonna use wood glue and clamps. So to do that, you don't need much wood glue at all. You just need a small amount on the bottom of the frame. I'm gonna line this up where I need it. and then I'm gonna clamp it together. Just like this. Then I'm gonna go do that around the entire chalkboard. So once everything is clamped together, we're just gonna let that dry. And again, just like the chalkboard cane, always follow the directions on the back of your bottle of wood glue. It's gonna let you know how long to dry. I'm actually gonna leave this overnight so it has a really tight bond. So we let this dry overnight, remove the clamps, and the wood is secured, the wood frame is secured onto the chalkboard quite well. But just for a little added security, I'm gonna flip this over, and we're gonna put some screws into the back to hold the frame onto the plywood. And then add in a few screws. that's gonna be great all throughout my house. 
Um, I'm specifically going to use this this Thanksgiving for a menu board to have up in my dining room. Uh, one quick tip when making a chalkboard, we've got this great chalkboard paint on here. Before you use it, you want to season your chalkboard. So take a piece of white chalk, turn it sideways, and rub it up and down the entire chalkboard. And then once it's all covered, you can erase it, and then you're good to go. That's just going to season your chalkboard for you. And then for some a really crisp look with letters, you can get chalk markers as well, which erase easily with a wet cloth. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up below and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. And if you plan on building one of these chalkboards, I would love to hear about it. Thanks for watching.